Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I should be at work, but I woke up this morning to feed Harrison and he has a 100.8 degree fever. So I decided to stay home with him because he can't go to daycare. And um, so that's what I'm doing today. My dogs want to go outside. There's somebody in the next door neighbor's backyard that they want to go bark at. Later. No. So I'm home today and tomorrow Curtis will be home with him until he, you know, until he feels better. I don't know if he'll be home with him tomorrow and then Thursday or if it's just going to be tomorrow. So I guess we'll see. But, um... Harrison's currently upstairs asleep. He's not feeling very well, so, you know, he keeps waking up and then falling back asleep and then waking up and then falling back asleep. So I feel like poor Harrison has gotten the short end of the stick when it comes to immune systems. Um, the first week after I went back to work, after my maternity leave, he got RSV. And then uh, about two weeks after that, he developed or he started to develop a secondary infection on that. His doctor's probably thinking like pneumonia or something because he was starting to get a wheezy chest. So we got him feeling better from that. And then a month ago, he got a cold. And then he has been on an antibiotic for almost 10 days from a sinus infection that he got from that cold. And now he has another cold. More than likely it's a cold just based on the um, his temperature that he's had. But you know, it's been two months and he's been sick. This is number five, so he's been sick five times. I don't know what's going on because my sister's boy, who's three, who's three months, or, no, sorry, who's three weeks younger than Harrison, hasn't been sick once. So I don't know if it's, you know, where we're going that he's getting sick and my sister's not because apparently he's not getting it from daycare or else my nephew would be sick. I don't know. I'm just really hoping that with him being sick as much as he has, that that means he will have an amazing immune system when he's older. So Mr. Harrison woke up from his nap. So Harrison's trying to grab the camera. But can I just say, I'm not much of a fan of being a working mom, especially on days when he's sick and I have to think about my PTO that I will need for when he has his surgery. Because it's, it's really hard because I want to be home with him when he's not feeling good. But yet, I honestly don't have the time saved up. Luckily today I do, but it's, you know, it's one of those things of crap, you know, do I have the time? Should I go to work? Should I not? Should Curtis come home? Should he stay home? Should he go, you know, things like that. It's, it's hard having to deal with, you know, wanting to be home with your sick baby, but, you know, having to go to work and be at work. And so it's hard. I had a really hard time when Harrison got RSV a week after I had gone back to work from being on maternity leave because at that time I had nothing. I had no hours whatsoever and the only thing that I could do was, you know, go to work while my my brand new three month old baby had RSV. And so let's just say I was not a very happy person. I think I oh, Mr. Gruntman I think I cried just as much that entire week as I did the entire month of January before I went back to work. I think I might as well go see what he wants. So Harrison needs some more medicine and he has a very bad habit of spitting it out when we give it to him. In, uh, in a syringe through his mouth. Uh, it's a little too thick to actually go into the uh, nipple on his bottle. So, I'm going to try something different today. I don't know how he'll take it, but I'm feeding him some sweet potatoes. 
I was thinking maybe of putting the uh, medicine in his sweet potatoes and mixing it up. Because I know he'll, you know, I know he'll take the sweet potatoes. The question is, is will he take them with the medicine in it? Maybe this actually might work. Continue feeding him, see how he does. A few moments later. Definitely get to say that was a success, huh buddy? That is all we have left. So I'm going to go make him a bottle and finish feeding him that way, huh? Baby dance! You beat us home! Guess what's in the box? A new stove! And now Curtis gets to have the fun chance of taking it off the truck while I go take the baby inside. Don't hurt yourself. stove I'm super excited for the glass top because of going from going from these annoying burners to the pretty glass top and a knife oh cool okay look ew <laughs> yeah I'm definitely oh look at all the Benadryl mm -hmm. all of writers Benadryl <laughs> all of Writers, Benadryl! Yeah, you dude. Curtis just left to go get a new plug for the oven, as well as, I'm assuming, some socket of some sort to get the stripped screw out of the back of the oven so he could put the, the plug wires into it. And so um, he's gonna go grab that. And so right now it's just me and Harrison. He's asleep at the moment. And so currently it's just me. I kind of want to show you guys how messy my house is at the moment. All right, so I got my stove right there. And there's the box and the dog on the couch. Right here. What's up, dude? Little Miss Sky who wants, you know what, F-O-O-D. And then the old oven right there. And the nice open spot right there. So, hey guys. Do you want some dinner? Do you want some dinner? Raider, do you want some dinner? Okay. Alright, so I wasn't able to finish yesterday because things got a little bit crazy and... Uh, we had to take the stove back, and just by the time that everything was done, it was time to get Harrison ready for bed and me ready for bed, so I just decided I'll update you guys all today. But, guess what is finally here? Curtis. The back of his head. But no, seriously. Our new stove! But the new stove is in, and it looks so good. It matches now even though it looks a little bit weird, only because I've been staring at a white stove for almost four years now. But it looks so much better. Curtis is eating my microphone. Mm -hmm. But I'm super excited. So I just wanted to share with you guys 
that my kitchen is now complete. I've got this microwave, the stove, the dishwasher, and the fridge. All matching. And everything works. And yeah, so we'll go with that. But anyways, guys, I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.